Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. I hope you're enjoying my beard and my messy hair. And there's a weird thing in the background if you're watching a video. There's, I don't know why, I just, I'm playing a video of a really super sexy, handsome man uh, on YouTube, just in the background. The volume's off because I didn't want you to be distracted by the sound, but hopefully seeing that super sexy, very large head. I'm sure he doesn't look, have such a big head in real life. But yeah, so that's... That's in the that's in the background. So if you're listening on a podcast, then hi. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Uh, my website is jasonnewland.com. And that's it. So this recording basically will be an opportunity for you to relax an opportunity to let go. So if you can, I suggest close your eyes. Kind of the ideal position would be sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body. Uh, you know, so ideally, so you don't fall out of the chair, you know, so have a chair that has armrests or something like that. Or, of course, you can lie down on your bed. If you do lie down on your bed, um, be prepared to fall asleep because we've got that constant connection right from birth of falling asleep when we're lying down. But also, God, these glasses are a bit dusty. Oh, well. Also, I mean, I personally think that I'm very interesting, very interesting person. But a lot of people find me very boring to listen to and they end up falling asleep. Now, I've got a white top on and I just realized I've had something to eat earlier. So the top might be covered in food. So if you don't like dirty clothes, <laughs> maybe just listen to the podcast. So here we're going to go. So what I'm going to do is start off by, if you close your eyes, we're just going to count down from 10 down to 1. And that kind of gives your mind and your body a signal that it's time to let go and to just relax a little bit. Uh, also, before we go on, there may be background sounds, either my side or your side. It's okay because we don't need things to be silent. And this recording also will be available with background music as well as uh, a five hour and 10 hour length recording with background music and um, uh, affirmations and you know things like that so choose what's best for you I guess now with your eyes closed counting down from 10 down to 1 I'd like you to focus just on your eyes as you count down notice how your eyes not just your eyeballs and your eyelids and your eyelashes and your eyebrows, but also the muscles around your eyes. Just notice how that general area starts to relax as we count down from 10 down to 1. Now, 10. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Just noticing how your eyelids and your eyes feel. What I find is there's certain parts of my body when they relax, the rest of my body tends to follow. One of those parts is your eyes. So when your eyes relax, it's a signal to the rest of your body. So I guess that sends a signal to your brain and your brain sends that signal down your spinal cord through your nervous system to all the other parts of your body to also relax or not even as a command relax but just it's okay to relax we're not doing anything else you're not needed for anything else you can just let go which could be quite nice when you relax your mind your body the whole of your body starts to relax. But also in the same way, when you start to relax parts of your body, your mind starts to relax. So it's kind of a, a continuous circle of comfort. Another part I find is my hands. So when I purposely relax your hands it sends a signal to the rest of your body to relax another part may be in the stomach some people hold tension in the stomach so when you decide to let that tension go to release release that out of you just let it go the rest of your body of course follows I recently had a foot massage that's another another way of relaxing of course I can't give you a foot massage and you know but when the feet, when your feet relax, there's something, I don't know what quite, why. Maybe it's because of all the nerves in the feet. Maybe it's because, the same with the hands, it's, it's the end, isn't it? It's the end of the body, like your hands and your fingers are the end of that part of your body. And your head is the end of that part of your body. And your toes and fingers, um, uh, feet and toes are the ends. So maybe that's why, because of all of the nerve endings. So when you relax those nerves, the signal moves. That calmness, that sense of well-being travels through your body and as it travels through your nervous system it moves through other parts of you moves through other parts of your body your legs your arms your shoulders your groin your your back your neck your face your chest and you know the muscles just naturally start to calm down. 
And it's not even necessarily because you've done anything or that you've um, put in any effort into it. Sometimes the the less effort you put in, the more relaxed you can actually feel. Because feeling calm, letting go, is not something that actually doesn't... I mean, effort's the wrong word. Because you can't force yourself to be relaxed. Because that's the opposite to what relaxation is. Because relaxation is feeling peaceful, feeling calm. And you're letting go of that part of you that maybe is forceful. You know, that part that's like... You know, we all have times when we want to just perhaps shout at ourselves. Come on, relax. Which is obviously very ridiculous. But, you know, we're human beings. It's never going to work. Shouting at your... It's like shouting at a car that's broken down to start. It's, you know... It's not going to happen. It's not going to make any difference. You're just going to look silly. But there's that added element where when you're trying to pressure yourself, force yourself to feel a certain way, that adds tension and stress and anxiety. It adds to that, which is the opposite, obviously of letting go and relaxing and feeling calm. And some people watching or listening may think, well, if it just happens naturally, why isn't it just happening naturally? Why why would I need to listen to this or watch a video? Why aren't I just why can't I just sit down and just feel relaxed? You can. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing. That's you're sitting down or you're lying down. And it's been 13 minutes, roughly, since I started this recording. Where are you now? I don't mean, you know, I mean, don't sort of, I'm in my living room, I'm in my bedroom, I don't, not that. I'm in Canada, no, where are you now in your sense of calmness, your sense of feeling relaxed? compared to how you were before you pressed the play button on this session. Just get in touch with how you feel. I'm waiting for your answer. How are you? <laughs> Now, you might not be able to remember quite how you were feeling before. But just get in touch with how you're feeling now. How relaxed and calm, loose. And even though we've only really focused on your eyes... Only really focused on your eyes. I know we mentioned your hands and your fingers. Uh, we mentioned your feet and your toes. We mentioned your stomach relaxing. Um, we also mentioned your arms and your legs and your groin and your back and your chest and your neck and your shoulders, your face. Now, when each of those parts of your body are mentioned verbally by myself, when I say, oh, 
uh, your shoulders. You may feel a sense of comfort spreading through your shoulders as I say it. When I mention your thighs, you may focus on your thighs and experience those feelings, the muscles in your thighs resting. And perhaps you feel you can feel your thighs. Uh, if you're sitting down on a chair, you can feel the the bottoms of your thighs on the chair. Unless, of course, you sit in a very weird, star, a weird position. Um, or if you're lying down, you can feel the backs of your thighs flat on the mattress of the bed. And you may also notice the tops of your thighs feeling almost like they're melting a bit. Just almost like they're separating. So the muscles are separating from each other in a very gentle, very gentle way. But almost melting, you know, it's like, or deflating. I mentioned your back, and maybe you're noticing that, like I am actually, I, I have issues with my back, with my lower back. And right now, my lower back feels very relaxed. It's very, it's weird because it's not so much, well, it is relaxed, but it's almost that part of my lower back, because I've, I've got arthritis in my lower back. That part of my back is almost a little bit itchy. And when it gets itchy, not itchy as in I need to scratch it, but just a little bit, a similar kind of itch to healing. You know when you've had a cut and the cut turns into a scab and then it gets a bit itchy. And that's when you know that it's healing, that your body is doing its job and caring for you and it's healing that's the kind of sensation I've got going on in my lower back at the moment and the rest of my back does feel relaxed so it's very loose it feels loose now I don't know how your back feels of course but maybe by me mentioning your back, maybe by me focusing on my back and mentioning, talking about how my back feels. Maybe during that period when I was talking then, you started to focus on your own back, started to notice that maybe your own back is feeling more relaxed. What I do notice is when I relax my hands, my feet tend to relax almost kind of like a mirror like a mirror thing going on now I know obviously oh, you know, feet are different to the hands which is good because I wouldn't be wanting to shape people's hands if my hands looked like feet but there's there's almost like a mirror thing going on so when I relax my hands there's lots of ways to relax your hands, by the way. Lots and lots of ways. One way, and it's something you can do during the day, when maybe 
you don't have the opportunity to close your eyes. You don't have maybe, you know, maybe you're at work, maybe you're on a bus, whatever the situation is. Now, if you've got some hand cream, some moisturizer, something like that, if you get that out and put that on your hand and just and just rub the moisturizer into your hands and then gently massage your hands as you do it. No one's going to really notice. They might notice that you're putting cream on your hands, but that's there's nothing strange or unusual about that. But it can be very relaxing because, you know, just as I'm doing it now, I'm just... I'm not putting cream on my hands, but I'm imitating doing it, kind of imagining I'm doing it, and I'm moving my hands and fingers around. It's very relaxing. Um, and it's not just my hands that are feeling relaxed. I'm feeling it in my face. I'm feeling it in my shoulders and in my back, my upper back. Almost like, from my shoulders, the part of my back, from my shoulders all the way down to my middle of my back and then down my spine. So the body, our bodies can relax so easily. Sometimes by just getting in touch with the physical sensation for example of your hands so as I said by putting hand cream on your hands could be a really good way for you to relax very easy simple way that will send that signal of relaxation through your body and then when you do that and you have that physical sensation of comfort and deep relaxation when you put that hand cream into your hands the next time you do it there's it's almost like that feeling is ready to start before you've even got the cream out of the jar or out of the squeezy bottle or whatever it is. And then eventually, after maybe a few weeks, maybe maybe less, just the thought of putting hand cream into your hands can cause you to feel relaxed. And when your hands relax, it can also cause your feet to relax. Your toes, your ankles, the bottom of your feet, tops of your feet, sides of your feet. All those parts that are used. Because, you know, for those that walk and stuff, if we use our feet a lot. Your feet really do need some love. I mean, personally, I, I probably, I haven't got like nothing wonderful about my hands, but I, I, may, I would say I take more care of my hands than I do with my feet because I can't see my feet. It's not just because I've got a massive belly. It's, you know, my hands are always there. My hands aren't always in front of me. I don't walk around with my hands in front of my hand, my face, but I see my hands all the time. So maybe giving your feet a bit of attention now and then, maybe once a week, getting a little one of those um, foot baths you know where you can put your feet in with some salts or whatever 
and just allow your feet to soak, which will send that signal to the rest of your body to relax. Might actually really, really be useful. So there's lots of ways to relax, lots of ways to let go. And some of those, uh, none of the ways are complicated. If it's complicated, it's not worth doing because relaxing is an easy thing. I know it doesn't always feel that way, but it's not something we can force. It's something we almost need to allow yourself to let go. And I've been trying to help people relax for over 16 years online, videos, audios, podcasts, in person, whatever. There are lots of different ways of doing it. And that's one of the first things I learned is you have to get in touch with the, the natural feeling of comfort and be patient with yourself, be kind, be gentle, really be kind and gentle to yourself, not just when you're wanting to relax, but throughout the day, throughout the night, all the time, as much as you can, be kind and gentle with yourself. That's my, that's all I've got to say on that. But give it a go. Try and just let go of stuff. Get in touch with the feeling of comfort a bit more often. Instead of waiting to relax for half an hour a day in the evening. Maybe get in touch with feelings of comfort that you can experience at certain times during the day. And focus on those pleasant sensations of comfort. So take care. Remember to be kind to yourself. Remember to be gentle with yourself. You deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.